Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Matt, I'm a tech YouTuber, and today we are doing another microphone test. So this is the microphone that we're gonna be taking a look at today. I'm speaking into it right now, and I will continue to do so for the entire video. This is the Fifine K688 Amplitank. So quite a name right there, and a lot of people have been talking about how good this microphone sounds for the price of $80, especially when compared to other microphones, such as the Shure SM7B, which is a $400 microphone. A lot of people are saying this is very comparable. And I would agree in terms of the design, it does look a lot like that microphone. It's very matte black and stealthy. And I mean, microphones all look very similar, especially microphones like this. This is a dynamic cardioid microphone, which basically means it picks up from the front. So. Right here, this is where it's picking up the sound. So if I go to the side, you're gonna hear me less. And if I speak into the back, it's gonna sound very echoey and distant. So you do wanna get this microphone fairly close to your face, a couple inches away from your mouth. That's where it's gonna sound the best. But this microphone's pickup pattern is kind of in the shape of a heart. I'll put it up on the screen so you can see. Let's run through some of the specifications so you know exactly what you're getting with this microphone. This microphone has a frequency response of 70 hertz all the way to 15 kilohertz. It records in 16 bit from 44.1 hertz all the way up to 48 hertz, which is pretty standard for a microphone of this class. And then the max SPL is 130 decibels. So that basically means the maximum volume, the maximum sound it can record before distortion. So overall from my testing of this microphone, I would say it definitely is a little bit quieter than I was expecting. Like when I put it into Adobe Audition, which is what I edit my audio in, it was just kind of quiet. And so I had to crank up my computer volume in order to actually hear back the audio at a normal level. So I had to go ahead and equalize, normalize, compress, and overall boost my volume. And then when I did that, there was actually quite a lot of static and noise in the background of my recording, which I was a little bit disappointed at. However, it can be fixed fairly easily in your standard audio softwares as well as video editing softwares. There normally is a noise reduction feature. And I tested between USB-C and XLR. It didn't really seem to make much difference. XLR was a little bit more clear and had, in my opinion, a little bit more volume here is a clip of me talking through USB-C, and now I'm back to XLR. The whole video is recorded in XLR. So let's talk a little bit about the build quality now. I am a big fan of the build quality. The entire thing is made of aluminum or aluminum, however you wanna say it, and the entire thing is completely matte black. So very stealthy. There isn't very much branding on here. So, I mean, this could be an expensive microphone, even though it's fairly cheap for 80 bucks. It could be more expensive and nobody would really know because it doesn't really stand out, honestly. The microphone comes with a shock mount screwed directly into it. So there is an inner bracket and then an outer bracket with these rubber bands. And that is sort of a shock absorbent mechanism. So if there's any bumps or clashes with your microphone, it does kind of reduce some of that impact and you're not going to hear it as much. But one thing that I don't really like is there's no arm, there's no stand that comes with the microphone. So I am using this arm right here, which is holding it up. It's a mechanical arm. It was fairly cheap. It was like 30 bucks on Amazon, but that's not the point. If you buy this for $80, you're then gonna have to fork out more money in order to get a desk stand or an arm like this. And so that's something you may wanna consider when you're evaluating other microphones of the same price point because they may include a stand. I really like this foam cover on the end here. It's very, very fluffy and soft and delicate. It's genuinely the softest thing I've ever felt. And I don't really know how transparent it is, but to me, it seems to do a fairly good job. On the right of the microphone, there is a touch capacitive button. This is how you mute the microphone. So if you're maybe doing something live, like a live stream and someone comes in and talks to you and you don't want it recorded, then just go ahead and press that button and it will go ahead and completely mute the audio. I don't find it overly sensitive, so I haven't had issues where I've accidentally knocked it. Seems to be okay, and there is also a colored LED indicator so you know whether it's muted or not. Underneath the microphone, you have that XLR port as well as a USB-C port. This microphone is really friendly. You don't need any interfaces for using just the XLR. You can just completely use it via USB-C. And I did mention earlier on that the USB-C, in my opinion, was just not quite as good as the XLR quality, but a lot of people probably won't notice that anyway. 
A benefit of having USB-C built into this microphone is it has pass-through technology, which basically means when this microphone is connected to your computer, you're able to hear all of your computer audio, as well as monitoring the microphone and its input directly through your headphones using the headphone jack on the bottom. So that headphone jack is just standard 3.5 millimeter. You can plug in any headphones and instantly monitor your audio. And that's what I'm doing right now. So I can hear myself talking live. Down at the bottom there, there is also a couple of knobs. One of them allows you to change your gain and one of them allows you to change the volume of your monitoring levels. So when you're listening back to yourself, you can go and decrease the volume or increase it depending on whether you wanna hear your surrounding environment. Jumping back to the audio quality, I would say it's definitely a little bit muddy in those lows to mids. However, I feel like, you know, for the price point and considering you can edit and fix it almost using EQ and messing around with your audio settings and your editor, mm, I would say this is definitely obviously worth the $80, but whether you should invest a little bit more into a better, more premium microphone is completely up to you. I will actually do a sound test right now and I'll compare the audio you're hearing right now with another microphone I have made by Maono. So they make a microphone called the PD400X. That's a much more expensive microphone. It's about $160, but it does sound a little bit better in my opinion. And also it does come with a desk stand. So if that's something that kind of interests you, this is how it sounds. So this is the other microphone I was talking about, the Mauno PD400X. I did a complete full review on this microphone. So if you would like to check that out, I'll leave a card above or a link down below, but you can find it on my channel. I personally feel like both of these microphones sound awesome for the price, but this one is a tad more expensive at $160. Personally, I feel like the Maono microphone is very similar in comparison, but I would say it's a tad bit louder. It's a little bit clearer in the lows to mids and has a touch more bass than this microphone. But this microphone is definitely a pretty good bang for your buck for $80. If you already have an arm or maybe you just want to buy a cheap arm for like 20 bucks or a desk stand, uh, then you could definitely have a fairly good setup for, I would say, about 100 bucks, 80 bucks on the microphone, 20 for the stand. You have a fairly decent beginner setup for if you're doing a podcast or a YouTube video or live streaming, then I would say, yeah, this is definitely something to consider. Have a look around for other options. But from what I've tested, this is probably the best sounding microphone for $80 that I've ever tested. So if you would like to pick this up, if you could please use my affiliate links down in the description, I would really appreciate that so much because it helps support the channel. And I love making content. I love making these videos for you guys. And I just want to keep doing it. I want to keep doing it throughout the future. And I really hope you guys can stick around for the journey. So if you could subscribe, hit the bell icon and let me know down in the comment section below. Do you like how this microphone sounds compared to my usual audio or compared to the Maono one? What do you think is the, is the best sounding microphone that I've tested? I've done a few other videos on, on other microphones. I've even tested other Fifine microphones, but this is probably my favorite one from Fifine. I would say so. So yeah, I hope you guys have a nice day. Hopefully you found some helpful advice from this video and I will see you later. Peace.